Welcome to Octane Addicts TV. I'm your host, Matt the Camera Guy, and today I am excited to announce that not only the Backyard 400 will happen next year in April, but the Barnyard 400 will happen this November 12th in Lamar, South Carolina at Copeland Farms. Registration is now open. What you need to do is email yardcartunderworld at gmail.com your name, cart number, your address, and anything else that you think we may need to know about your entry and send it to me. That will get to the South Carolina branch because there's some other things going on too. And the Yard Cart Underworld will be the South Carolina community of where to go to find where all this is happening. And also you can go to our event pages as well. The Backyard 400 has their page and the Barnyard 400 has its own event page. So here recently, I had the opportunity to sit down with Trey Copeland and get the racetrack carved out. Welcome to Octane Addicts TV. We are here at Copeland Farms and I'm here with Trey Copeland, man. Trey, what are we doing right now? Right now, we are scraping the driveway. We are trying to get this uh, water out and get this it's very damp and muddy and uh, eventually we want to get it to be more of a racetrack. <laughs> now you're talking about language. <laughs> All right so we're just kind of scraping everything just to kind of get an idea of. Yeah you know we have a new construction and uh, you know these big trucks coming in and out these cause a lot of divots and I uh, had a big rain last night uh, so it's this 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 is nothing but a field, and this is going to take a while to get things, uh, you know, uh, some more clay on the on the driveway. And, and uh, but right now we're just in a, just a boggy field, so that, it's going to be a few months. So what exactly? So let's get a look here at the property. There's the house. There's their house. And is this potential straightaway? Is this part of the track right here? What do you have in mind exactly? Okay. All right, let's take a lap around the Barnyard 400. There you see the front stretch by the Barnyard. And there we go into a left-hander into turn one. You're looking at pit road right there, but you will do a sweeping right-hander. And then you'll go into what's called the swamp section. Trey has named it that because he says it floods there. So we'll run the wood line here in the swamp section of the course. And you see it's a long sweeping left-hand corner. And I feel like that the racing will be really good there because of slide jobs. And then you go through the short chute and make a left-hander out there at turn four. And you'll be on the back stretch leading into turn five, which this course ends exactly like Travis's house. You have, instead of, I guess, Travis, you had two right-handers, and here you have two left-handers, which is turn five and six. And here's the side stretch. If you look to the right, that's where the pits will be. And right there, you've done a lap at the barnyard, 400. Guys, the surface we're going to be running on is going to be tricky. And one thing I do know as a racer, dirt is the great equalizer, and it's going to be awesome. Man, it's going to be a pretty cool place. And I'm telling you right now, this surface we're going to be running on is going to be very tricky because yes. it's not the red clay that everybody expects in South Carolina. <laughs> this is... is Pure T lower state sand clay is what I call it. Oh, it's this is this can get really muddy, but we I will bring in some dirt and uh, we will make having the surface a little more solid than you see today. I mean, without <laughs> a doubt. Well, I love it. So let's uh, let's let Trey do his thing, and we'll check back in a minute. And if you aren't getting excited about it, let's go to legendary cannonballer Mark Spence and see what he had to say about his experience in the backyard 400 at Travis Bell's. 
as I'm making my trip back to the homeland of Casa Travis Bell or whatever he calls his property, I figured I'd throw down a few words about the Backyard 400. And I'm trying to find a few words to say. Simply, there's so much stuff that happens. And it's too hard to explain. It, it's just such too hard to explain. It's something you have to experience. A bunch of grown-ass men and little kid yard carts. Breaking stuff, doing stuff. They just So much fun happened that weekend. And I can't wait for next year. Because Matt's been shoving it down my throat that he's built gonna build me a winner. Because I turned my brakes into butter on my car with those little straps. I actually still got it about like right there. And um and yeah, it's just you can't explain this for everybody. You have to go live it and experience it. And oh, it's only six and a half horsepower. Ugh. Screw those people. Six and a half horsepower is a lot of horsepower for something that weighs probably 200 pounds. I don't even know how much these carts weigh. It's just, I can't wait for next year. I still got the scar on my arm. I'm going to actually wear protective gear like I was supposed to. I'm sorry, Dan Dillon. I broke the rules. Um, I'm just real curious how the next year's cart's going to turn out. It's, I feel like Matt can set me up with something good. Gonna make me a winner. Four wheel disc brakes, rubber tires. So, he asked me to do a few words. These are my few words. So the rules package is being finalized right now. It's just waiting on Dan Dillon to give me the seal of approval. And we will start sending the guys that have registered an, e an email back confirming that we have your registration and we will send you a copy of the rules. But the rules, for the most part, Backyard 400 rules, there will be some changes. We would like everybody to use the Predator 212 and we'll have a claim rule and we'll talk about all that. Yard cart, front end, back half, live axle, We'll go over what exactly what we think a yard cart is. Tire rule. We'll cover it all starting next week. Join us then. Thank you, SRI, Celebrity Machines, Ultimate Show Glow, everybody else that makes this happen. And thank you, the viewer, for watching. We'll see you next week.